President Marilyn, friends, guests, lions. I would like to invite two really wonderful members of our club up here to accept a fantastic award. I'm speaking, of course, of Bob Heidemann and Judy Frondahl. Come on up. Come on, Remember, you deserve this one. While they're coming up here, uh, the, the mission statement of the Special Awards Committee is to leave no good deed unpunished. And that might explain why they're here. Anyhow, this is going to be the U.S. Army Productivity Award. Uh, because you may recall commercials from the Army years ago where said that the Army gets more done by 8 a.m. than, you know, yeah, uh, well, last meeting, the lights went out, and it reminded me of the Army, because the productivity in this section of the club increased tremendously. Uh, so while the lights were out, there was magic in the air. <laughs> It's my pleasure to present this certificate in recognition of value, valuable contributions to Lion's productivity to Bob Heidemann and Judy Frommel. We have a couple of special recognition awards. I would like Sharon Sisson to come forward, please. And past president, Ron Johnson. And while they're coming forward, we received a letter from Lions International. This lion is receiving this key award, has successfully opened the door of lionism to at least two individuals. The official presentation should be brief, yet impressive. Am I supposed to read this? Yeah. You gave it to it's you impressive, read right? I didn't have time to read this. You don't read that much. What a butt Keith gave me. The whole point is that we have two members here that have worked really hard, and LCI is recognizing them. And Sharon Sisson, you are receiving a membership achievement key today for five new members. All right! Name the five. Come on, yeah. Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> and past president Ron Johnson has received a pen recognition membership key for two new members. All right. He yeah. yeah. can't name them either, right? <laughs> I hope he can. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. If anybody can read my notes, come up and help me. Past District Governor Steve Patterson, would you come forward, please? Are you ready for this? We have a new member. I believe we have two other new members. Today we have one, right? Okay. Well, that's what I thought. Maureen Parsons, please. We'll see if we can find the others. And then Kathy Years will come later. We're looking hard. <laughs> I also need Maureen's sponsor. <laughs> There's number three. I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for my helper. Who's your helper? You have a helper? <laughs> Takes a lot of lions to do this, you know. <laughs> Fellow lions, it is indeed a pleasure, and on behalf of the Pioneer Lions and its board of directors, we are pleased to 
express our pleasure in you becoming a member today. Uh, Maureen, please remember that this membership in this Lions Club is a privilege. You're joining the world's largest service organization. We are a group of 1.3 million men and women in 46,000 clubs in 208 countries around the globe. We're dedicated to making a difference. Our history dates back to 1917 when Lions Clubs International was formed by a Chicago businessman named Melvin Jones. He believed that local business clubs should be working for the betterment of their communities and the world at large. Lions are especially dedicated to serving the blind and visually impaired, a commitment made after Helen Keller challenged our members to be Knights of the Blind. The candle we light today for you is symbolic. It means your dedication to the service of serving others. Our motto, as you know, is we serve. Your membership in this club will help carry on that tradition for many years to, club, uh, to come. Excuse me. If you'll turn around to your left, You'll see our emblem, it consists of a large letter L, superimposed on a purple background within a gold ring signifying unity and strength. Again, it is symbolic. On either side of the gold ring is a lion's head, one looking back over past accomplishments, while the other looks ahead to the future. There is not enough darkness to put out the light of one small candle. With the candle that we have lit for you, it is to share, we will now be sharing in your glow of service. Sorry. <laughs> we'll get it together. Thank you. <laughs> Since you have expressed a desire to be a member of Pioneer Alliance, I now ask that you respond to my words with a simple I do. Do you accept membership in the Pioneer Alliance knowing that you are encouraged to participate in all Lions Club's functions? I need another page with another page missing. To the best of your ability, will you abide by the Lions Code of Ethics, attend meetings, and contribute to the programs of our club district and Lions Club International? I think it's kind of yep, there it is. By the power vested in me yeah. by the yeah. I now declare you officially a member of the Wabi Pioneer Lions. Your sponsor will now present to you the Lions lapel pin, which signifies membership. <laughs> I will now ask your sponsor to respond to my words with a simple I will. Will you fulfill the following obligations? I will. Be a mentor for your new lion. I will. Make your new member feel welcome. I will. Introduce them to other club members. I will. Assist them in becoming an outstanding lion. That's I will. I would like to personally congratulate you for, all the, for accepting this service challenge for our community. You will receive a temporary red badge until you complete the four tasks. <laughs> then you will receive your permanent blue badge. Do you know what those four tasks are? Yeah. Um, orientation, oh, orientation, board meeting, work party, and... <laughs> Visitation? Okay. 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 You now have one minute to tell us about yourself. Oh no, I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> Um, I need to practice on my public speaking. I am really, I've always been impressed by this club because of your attention to the blind. Um, I've had some eye issues and I really want to help in that area as well as homeless people. Um, any project that I need it on, I'll try to work on. <laughs> Thank you.
this is your uh, uh, Lions membership card. Be sure that you sign that. There are occasions that the tail twisters will ask that you produce a signed card. Also, a certificate of membership uh, is good enough for framing. Put it over your mantle next to the loves of your life. <laughs> anyway, welcome. Thank We're you. glad you're here. So as you can see, we're a little bit early today on the schedule, and we don't have a program chair or a speaker today. So we've got about 10 minutes, and I'm going to add lib a little bit. I'm going to come out here in the audience. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> so acting president Marilyn's going to be a program chair. Thanksgiving is uh, this week, right? And on Thanksgiving, we're pretty thankful, and sometimes it's harried and crazy, and we're worrying about who's coming and whose bed they're going to sleep in, and I'm just talking about me. <laughs> so, is there anyone here that would just love to share something they're thankful for? Yay, come, come back. Oh, okay, we'll go there. Phil, you're next. Okay, well, Acting President Marilyn, that's what I was able to say. Phil Lyons is just. Um, an unusual thankfulness, honeybees. I heard on the radio that one every th of every three bites that you will take in your Thanksgiving dinner was pollinated or somehow helped along by our endangered honeybees. <laughs> Thank you, Cindy Pat. Honeybees. Honeybees in my applesauce. Yay. Phil. Past President Phil. Marilyn. Uh, I've been thinking a lot about this lately, so it's the perfect time for me to express it. When I was uh, 16 year old, years old, my parents headed back to the mission field in South America, and my uncle and aunt were named uh, as my guardians. And I'm reflecting on the way that my cousins uh, took care of, uh, of me and my brother and sister. Uh, they were the kindest, sweetest, most wonderful people. They shared everything. There was never any feeling that no way that that's mine. And uh, uh, I, I, it's just really humbling to think about it. I didn't see it. Is there someone that inspired you on Thanksgiving Day? Anybody have an inspiration? I know this is just childlike. I'll come over. Um, my cousins, we'd go to uh, Moses Lake from Yakima, and it was pretty much annually go to Moses Lake for Thanksgiving dinner. And as a young child, or a young girl, I should say, the homemaker in that home was so gracious. And so, for a girl, I was so impressed with how she could open and close a cupboard door without banging it. <laughs> I don't know about the inspiration, it's kind of crazy. But she was lovely, she had good food. She knew how to close a cupboard door. <laughs> Dolly, treasure Dolly. Acting Marilyn President Coline's a guest. My inspiration was my mother's mother when we grew up uh, six years in Wisconsin. Not only did she invite all of her four children, all of her grandchildren and great-grandchildren, there was always at least ten other people in the community who had nowhere to go, and they were always with us. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I have a Thanksgiving special for me in, in a very special way because I was born on Thanksgiving Day and I had a twin sister. Turkey! And, yeah, I was turkey. Now, well, my mother thought she delivered a turkey and she, I think she did. Uh, now, now I've got to share a really interesting story now. When you are twins, anybody here twin? Anybody else here twin? Yeah, Greg and mine. No, Greg and mine. Okay, let me tell you about being a twin real, real quick. When you are a twin, there is nothing that you can't good you can't get away with that isn't excused by saying, oh, it's just the twins. You can skip school, you can get in trouble anywhere, and it and eventually comes down, if you do it together, it comes down to, oh, it's just the twins. All right. So we came home devastated. And this is the, this is true. My both my sister and I came home devastated in first grade because 
for the first five or six years of our lives, every year, we were aware that the world stopped and they had a party for us. And then somebody mentioned something about pilgrims. And I'm not kidding you, we were both came home absolutely distraught and devastated by the fact that the world didn't stop for us. So there we are. Fellow guest members, I'm just thankful. My parents were married on Thanksgiving Eve, and they had a wonderful marriage for 43 years until my mother passed away. And the thoughts and the things that they have trained me to know that family is the most important thing in life and to love everybody. I've now been married going on 58 years, and my sister had the misfortune of losing her husband early. But the grandkids and the families, it's just my most important thing in life. All right. I just wanted to ask Jean Morelli, what, what day was your birthday? What's the date? November 25th. 25, okay. Acting I'm thankful for all my kids, my grandkids. And also, I'm thankful for Mary and them, but when I lost my wife, they stepped in and loved me and everything else. Thank you, Mary. I have to explain that John's wife was a customer at our business in the salon and they were just like family and they would bring John Jr. in and she, mom would go, Johnny Jr. <laughs> but anyway, she loved everyone and every season they'd bring us candy and John would bring fruit for us to buy and spoil this. Did I miss somebody? Okay. We got about two more people and then we probably should get down to Joker business. No, no. Keep postponing it. Acting President Marilyn loves these light fellow lines and guests. And I just want everybody to know I'm not worrying about where I'm speaking tonight. Uh, I am grateful for friends. And when, when times get tough, you know who your friends are. And I have a lot of wonderful ones, wonderful friends. And uh, I feel that friends are God's gift to all of us. Thank you. There's nothing like lion friends. Sometimes they love you, sometimes they tease you, sometimes they giggle. I got a likeness. President Mayor of Bell Lines and Gas, there was these two cannibals sitting there eating Thanksgiving dinner. And anyway, the one said the other, he says, I hate my mother in law. The other one says, I'll just push it aside and eat the dressing. <laughs> Thanksgiving if you forgot. Anybody? I have a Sharon Hunt. John Paul Jr. 
Okay. Anybody else? I have an announcement. Oh, how? How? Oh, how? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Past council yeah. chair. December fifteenth will be our Ladies' Day with Mark Morris and Wyatt. Oh. What day? December fifteenth. Are you saying with the choir? Yes. Okay, that's great. For, oh, you're, you're not on okay, I thought you were. Okay. <laughs> ladies' Day. Um, Lady Days, Spouses, Spouse Days, Friends. In other words, point is, on December 15th, Mark Morris comes over and entertains us for Christmas. And so bring a guest. It would be a great day to bring someone, whether it be your spouse, friend, or... There you go, spouse, instead of just ladies. Okay. Similarity, we did that. How about Sharon Sisson? You want to do a drawing? Sharon's giving away two pumpkin pies today for Relay for Life. Who was that? John Senior. And Shirley Wixon. All right. They won't have to bake so much. Okay, we're going to go to the red ticket. Forgot I have to read it. 7530915. John, happy birthday, John. Where would you like that winning to go? Diabetes. Okay, we do have an end of the month drawing today. And so, you know, I had my uh, partner in crime over here, third VP Cindy Fickett, draw a name. I'm sorry to say, first one was Bob Kane. This was a process, you guys. Kurt and Ignacio is not here today. Terry Keniston is obviously seriously ill. And Bob Specht isn't here either. So I want you to know this name came by way of five drawings. Steve Patterson. Oh. So I suppose you want to provide that for something. Who doesn't know what that money is for? Oh, I know. Medicine cabinet. <laughs> medicine cabinet. Okay, I want you to listen closely. I'm going to go over announcements first because this drawing is just getting pushed to the limit. Walk and Knock, December 5th. Keep that on your calendar. I believe they usually try to meet around 9. 9.30. 40th and Ocean Beach. Walk and Knock, December 5th. 40th and Ocean Beach, 9.30. Christmas party, December 11th at the Moose. What time? Time, of Brenda? Oh, okay. Sometime in the night. Salvation Army, December 19th, 10 to 6. Sign up for a two hour shift. And the blessing of that is there's two people at each shift and at each door. So you get to either meet a new lion or ring a bell with your best friend. Is there any other announcements that I missed? We're all good. Tell us your goals when you're <sighs> No, I think it's about time. <laughs> all right, got to have a drum roll. 298. Yes. <laughs> I can't read. 83. No. no. Three. You know that three. OK. 298-8391. Not here. No. Okay. Where are the tail twisters with the bucket? Okay. So the total is two thousand three hundred fifty-three dollars and twelve cents. Somebody dumped a quarter in there. Good luck, Greg. Good luck. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, great. Come on, Greg.